Hello Night Nation, this is Aaron and I'm the Corporate Director of Equipment with Night Transportation out of our Phoenix location. I would like to talk to you today about some very exciting news we have that pertains to Eaton 1800 watt true sine wave power inverters that we have decided we are going to install in our tractors. We feel this is going to be a huge benefit to you our driving associates while out on the road living in your trucks. We would just like to make sure we go over and talk about the benefits and a few things to consider while using these power inverters in your tractors. The reason we chose to go with the 1800 watt true sine wave inverter is a true sine wave gives a better electrical signal that reduces distortion and has better clarity for all of your electronic devices that you might want to use while you're out on the road in your track. The main purpose of the power inverter is to convert DC power to AC power so you can have standard household outlets for your devices while you're in the truck. We have an inverter right here in front of me. As you can see, it has basic standard household outlets that you can plug your devices in while you're living out on the road. One thing we want you to keep in mind is make sure that you're doing everything you can to ensure that your inverter lasts to its full potential while your truck is not shut off. A few ways to do this is first, make sure your batteries are fully charged before you stop for the night. Once you've stopped, make sure you don't have any unnecessary devices like your sleeper berth lights, um, your radio, your key in the accessory position. Make sure all of these accessories are turned off. That will just help extend the battery life in the truck so you can be more successful keeping proper battery voltage throughout the night. Like we previously stated, these are 1800 watt power inverters. What that means is 1800 watts is the max power that will be pulled out of these inverters at one time. Please make sure your conscience on what devices you have plugged in so you do not exceed this maximum wattage output. You can find the wattage output of most of your small devices on the device itself or on the original manufacturer's packaging that these were purchased in. We are now inside of Freightliner Cascadia to show you the location of the inverters within our trucks. Most of the inverters are installed in this similar location. It may be a little bit different configuration if you're in a Volvo or International, but you can see the area around this inverter where it's mounted just off the floor has been kept very clean. We need to ensure that you're keeping area around your inverters clean. They need to have good airflow around them to ensure they don't ever overheat. If an inverter overheats, it will shut itself off to prevent damage, and that could affect the way your devices work and affect the overall outcome of the inverter output itself. These inverters are equipped with internal low voltage disconnects. So when your truck voltage drops to a voltage of 11.8, what that's gonna happen is the inverter is going to internally shut off to protect the inverter from trying to run any of your devices with low voltage and causing potential harm to the inverter or anything that is plugged into them at the same time. We're very excited about this opportunity and being able to bring inverters to our tractors. We hope you, our driving associates, will also have a pleasurable experience and it will make your life out on the road a little more comfortable. Thanks for all you do. Be careful, drive safe, and have a great day.